what are you doing? What are your plans for fall break? Well, actually, my for this break, uh, it's going to be my birthday. So I'm going to be celebrating my birthday with family and friends and uh, probably studying. I'm going to do a bunch of studying and then we're probably going to uh, be updating the uh, blog about our free speech zone uh, wall that we uh, put up today for Young Americans for Liberty. Well, I'm actually engaged. I'm getting married uh, next May and we're taking uh, engagement pictures that Thursday. Uh, the rest of the weekend, I'm probably not sure. I'll probably watch uh, a lot of football, basically. Over fall break, actually I'll probably be doing a little more philanthropy uh, like we're doing here with Susan G. Komen for the breast cancer awareness, that's just this week. Um, over the fall break, we'll probably be doing a few community service uh, projects with my fraternity, Phi Second Kappa. Do you think that we should have the break? And if not, what do you think are some alternatives? Uh, I definitely think we uh, should have the break. I mean, when you think about it, it's a long semester, not a lot of breaks besides like Labor Day. I like it where it is, because it's just at the you know point in the semester where you're starting to get overwhelmed and you need like a couple of days to catch up, whether on sleep or homework or whatever else. I definitely think we should have the break uh, because those two days are attached to the weekend. A four day weekend is never a bad thing. Yeah, I like it because I value uh, two days off in the middle of the semester rather than just adding on, you know, two more days in the summer doesn't mean as much. Maybe it'd be good to not have a fall break. It does just kind of, it's a random jut into the school year, but I think it's a good break. Um, it is kind of weird that it's like break, then Thanksgiving break right after that. But I, I like having fall break. What are some advantages and disadvantages to the break? Advantages would be for the freshmen, they would be able to go home, see their family. It's a good time. They most of them probably been here the entire semester, so they're like, oh, let's go, let's go home. I miss my mommy and daddy. You get revitalized for this semester. Hopefully, you'll do better in classes once you get back. Um, the advantages are you get to catch up on sleep, your homework. You can go, like people that go home or want to go on a trip or something. There's more time to do that, whereas like you have to cram it into a weekend anywhere else. Uh, disadvantages, probably the fact that almost every teacher plans a test around it. Yeah. Last question, what do you think the break should be used for in your opinion? Uh, relaxation. I mean, because you're at school, you're always doing work. Uh, whatever it is, it's, it's just constant work. So I think you should just find something you want to do that relaxes you and just have a good time. I think the, the break should be used to just a cool down period. Um, I mean, we've been in school for a long time now, uh, especially after summer. You know, no one does anything over the summer uh, for the most part. As far as school goes, we're all working and trying to get money back. So I, I think it should just be used for a cool down period. Everybody just relax, take a break, and then study up whenever you come back. I think you should party and have fun because after that you come back and you're going to have finals and it's going to be awful and you're not going to get to party. Or you could party. <laughs> um, from a young man's perspective, I agree with Brittany, you know, it should be up to the person to decide, you know, how they want to use it. From like a concerned friend perspective uh, or a central planner, I'd say, you know, you should use it to catch up on, you know, what you're behind, which most likely is going to be schoolwork. Right.